We're doing a good, nice test. Oh, wait. <laughs> good, nice test. <laughs> it's really nice. It's good. Oh, hey everyone, welcome back to Weld.com. Today we got a very, very exciting thing that we're doing. So stick around and check it out. Believe me, all right? Just do it. Believe me. So what we're working out of today is the D11 book. So we're going to be welding with the SMAW process. The joint designation is going to be B-U2. The base metal thickness is unlimited. That's very important to us today. Yes. So let's talk about the root opening. At 0 to 8th inch, uh, plus a 16th minus a zero. And probably blow through the other side of the plate, but we might be fine, hey, who knows? This is an important one we're paying attention to, is the root face. It's zero to eighth inch, and plus a 16th. We really need to pay attention to that plus a 16th, because we're gonna be running on the 3 16th side. Oh God, we're gonna blow through that plate. <laughs> the degree of the groove angle is 60 degrees, uh, plus 10 degrees minus zero. Dude, I don't think this is gonna work. The rod is bigger than the groove angle. On this procedure, we're allowed to weld in all positions. Today, we're going to be doing in 1G. 1G groove angle, anybody can weld. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our test plate. This, you see our test plate? It's nothing unusual. This is a normal test plate right here. We're 28 wide and 29 inches long, all right? Three quarter inch carbon steel. You can see I removed this mill scale. Probably, I probably didn't need to remove this mill scale because we're just going to blow through that mill scale and be okay and probably blow through the other side of the plate. But we might be fine. Hey, who knows? We got 60 degrees right here, 30 on both sides. Here's my runoff tabs right here and right here. That's three quarter inch, three inches by five. And my root face, this is very important. I'm intolerance, three sixteenths. So I'm within that code book. That's very important. Then on my, we're doing open root, but the book says zero to eighth plus a sixteenth. Well, a root opening can still be closed. So we got our zero degrees here. We're closed all the way. So that's the test plate. Let's go ahead and strike an arc and weld on it. We're gonna strike on the uh, runoff tabs so we get our plate warmed up here, or rod warmed up in our plate. So I'm running kind of cold on this rod. It says 1,000 amps while well, I'm running like 800. But well, I'm gonna let this rod heat up good so I get burning in good on this plate. All right, here we go. It just shut down. It just stopped. I had the rod running a little bit too cold. It recommends 1,000 amps, but I'm running about 800 because I don't want to blow through. So uh, that's why it went out. So we're going to grind the, chip the flux off, grind it a little bit like we we're treating this like a real test. We're gonna up the amps and uh, then restrike restri our arc and just carry back on. So I got all my flux out so I can see what's going on. <laughs> so we got a lot of prosody right here. That means I was running very cold. That's why it stuck. So we're gonna grind this out. It's gonna take a minute. Then we'll go ahead and restrike the arc. All right, we're gonna turn this up to 900. About right there. So since I'm so close to this runoff tab, I'm gonna start right here and just act like I'm just starting to test again. And just start right here, get make sure everything's running good, and then just hook, go back on my joint. We upped the machine on nine, up to 900 a.m. So let's go ahead and run the real test again. Feel a little weave back and forth. Fill them sides up there because I messed up. And I'm just going to continue my way down. I'm going to do a little whip, a little whip forward, but small, and whip back a little bit. I'm going to keep that drag going, five to ten degrees. When it pops, it tells me I'm sitting in one spot too long. Yeah, the pop, you know, I mean, the metal's not going nowhere, so it pops out. It just keeps getting hotter and hotter. And it popped. But I started realizing that I kept moving, not letting that puddle get so big. It stopped. It reduced the popping, and it came out a little bit better. Just keep whipping. We're biting in really good. I mean, 
we're biting in good quarter inch, half inch depth almost. You can see the wall is just melting. Look at the bevels. Plate's getting a little warm. I gotta do some readjustment. Looks like we got fire growing right there. And my legs are starting to burn. Oh God, it's so hot. I'm like standing away, away from it very far. The flux fell off. We got a big four inch piece right here. So when I started inspecting this rod more and more, well, see where it was. So I was like, oh, okay, we'll just cut this off of the grinder. Well, more we inspect this, it's got a whole linear crack all the way down to the top where the electrode clamped onto the stick rod. So, uh, so this is the reason why you always save your, your stubs, just for emergencies just like this. So this is a good stub right here. We only got like five inches to weld it with, and that's it. That will definitely finish our test. I had to get a bigger grinder here. Uh, that little one's not doing the job. So we're putting a Weiler Tiger Zerk on this and hopefully we can get this thing knocked out quick. We're gonna start the arc way back here on this plate, get it nice and warmed up because there might be moisture in this rod because it's been sitting, it's our stub. So let's go ahead and do it. Auto established like you want it. We're just gonna go ahead and go start welding on our joint here. There we go. Like that fill up, we're gonna pull out. We just got done doing the test here, or done welding that joint up. So our next step is we're gonna go ahead and chip the flux off, get all the BBs off what we can with the chipping hammer. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab the, the grinder and then get all of our spatter off or BBs, whatever. And then we're gonna inspect her next, all right? So let's, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's grab the chipping hammer, get some safety glasses on first. And we're just gonna chip her off, all right? All right, let's grab the big whole wire, will ya? I don't like that, I don't like that. Oh God. We just got it all ready for our inspection, so we're gonna go ahead and inspect it a little bit. Uh, you can tell everything looks pretty good, I like it. I like it, no, seriously, so. Fail. Don't know why I got prosthetic holes. We got a lot of prosthetic going through here, but I think I started figuring it out. I was going too slow, then I over here, if you see, I sped up right in here, and look how good it started coming out. It started coming out really good. I mean, no prosy holes, and that looked good. If I could run that all the way through, the plate, w the plate would have been passable for a real test, if there was a real test for this. But overall, yeah, I say, let's go flip it over and see what that backside looks like. All right, let's inspect that. Looks like hammer dog shit. All right, we picked this up with a plate dog and a chain, but everything's secured, uh, not underneath it or anything in case something happens. So we're safe, all right? That's the number one thing. All right, so let's check out the backside, all right? All right, I'm kind of shocked about this. I bet you guys are too pretty shocked. I mean, we're not getting, I don't even see no indication of something biting through. I don't mean, I really don't see nothing. Yeah, you know, I mean, this is the only thing I see is the hottest, these are the hottest pot, spots on this plate. I mean, that's pretty upsetting. Um, but normally you would just, Back gouge this out and weld it and clean your, clean your weld up after you're done and call the inspector over. But really, you wouldn't even get that far. The inspector would tell you, go home. So yeah, this is the test we ran. We ran an F25 rod today, Cormit, uh, 0.750 three-quarter inch carbon steel plate. 
Let us know how we did in the comments below. Just by looking at the arc shot, the camera guy shot, uh, let us know what you think I should have done better. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the show. I'll see you guys next time. Hit the subscribe button below, down there on the left. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Mancov, learning is key. I'll see you guys next time.